everybody. Amen. God is good. Speak louder. God is good. And all the time. God is good. And all the time. Our God is always good to his children. We are the children of a good God. Can you say amen for that? Amen. amen. So here we are in United States of America. English is not our mother tongue, but we learn to speak because we have to. We are already English speaking country. <laughs> and also, God bless the language of English. So this English become the English language become international language. Therefore, in order to communicate with the whole world, we need to learn how to speak in English. Can you say amen for that? So, don't be afraid. You are already in the United States of America. Try to speak English. Try, try to learn more and more. Then, as you become the citizens of this nation, you can speak English. You can communicate with people, not only in the United States, for the whole world, everybody can communicate with you. But if you cannot speak English, that's the problem. So don't be ashamed to speak English. Amen? Can you say amen? Love English language. Amen? So thank God for the Lord miraculously, wonderfully lead us up to this far from Burma to United States of America. Amen? So that God really blesses. Therefore, let us learn English to share the gospel message, the love of Jesus to the whole world with English language. Can you say amen for that? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's turn our Bible to 1 Peter chapter 5. First Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Let us read first. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exhort you in due time. First Peter chapter 5, verse 6. First Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore, Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exhort you in due time. God's plan for each one of us is just to not to put down us. As we are his children, he love, he loves us, each one of us so very much. He has a great plan for our future. Amen? He only wants to exhort or lift us up from our previous standard to higher standard. That is God's plan. Amen? Since you are a child of the Most High God, God never has a plan to put you down. In his plan, God has a great plan, which we don't understand right now, has a greater plan, a greater future. He doesn't want you to be just ordinary person. He put you and me in this world as his representative. Amen? So as we are the representative of all the other world, we are the ambassador of Jesus Christ. In the other world, we are the ambassador of the kingdom of God. Amen? Here we are in a foreign land. Our homeland is in heaven, right? We are in a foreign land. Why we are here? 
just to present how God is good or how God is able and how God can do mighty things through ordinary person like you and me. Amen? Therefore, God's plan for you as individual and for me is just to exhort us step by step, step by step. Hallelujah. I believe you are already understand that God already blessed each one of us. Can you say amen? We never dream or think that we may be in United States of America. But God bring us with his mighty hand to this nation. Right? Not, God does not just bring us to United States of America. From here, he will promote you. He will exhort you for his glory to fulfill his purpose or his will for his own glory and for the extension of his kingdom. Amen? Then we have the Bible says, in order to be exhorted by God, we need to humble under his mighty hand. Amen? Humble under his mighty hand. Under his mighty hand means we know everything happened according to uh, uh, everything is yes, happened under the knowledge of God. Amen? Everything is known. Everything, single thing happened to your life. Sorrow or happiness or whatever experience you may pass through. God knows that. Can you say amen? God knows that. Your happiness, your broken heart, your feeling, your cry, your singing, your joy, everything God knows. All at the same time, God allowed to happen all these things. So all are under the, because of under the mighty hand of God, everything is taking place in this world. Can you say amen? Sometimes we may not agree some bad things, but still, God allowed to happen all those bad things. Even though we like it or we don't like it, still happening. God knows everything. Amen? So, to be humble under the mighty hand of God means everything what we like it or we don't like it, heaven, we need to say thank you, Lord. Amen? Even though the pain I am suffering right now, even though I don't understand, Lord, I know you know that. I know that you have a great plan for that, for my future. Amen? Maybe sometimes people may criticize you or accuse you which you did not make a mistake. But still, people may accuse you. Point their fingers on you. But you are very broken hearted. You are very... But you know that God knows what you are going through that in that situation, right? So that means in that situation, you give thanks to the Lord. The Bible says, in everything, give thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. In everything mean good things or bad things. Amen? Everything, every situation you face, every circumstance you, you're going through, God knows. So, uh, if you are under the might, if you know that everything is known by God and God has a better plan for me, if you really believe and know it, Lord, even though I really don't understand what I'm going through, I know you have a good plan for me. That is a good heart. Amen? That is a thankful heart. 
That is humble attitude. Amen? Amen? Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Mean, in any given situation, you will have to give thanks to the Lord. Even bad things come, you will say, Lord, even though I don't like this, I know some good thing is going to take place. You know, Joseph, as you all know the story of Joseph, when his brothers sold him to be a slave to a foreign land, and his brothers thought that he will never come back home, and his dream will never come be fulfilled, right? In humanly thinking, we could not um, uh, understand what is going on to Joseph. God gave him a, re a dream, but all the thing happening to him is all uh, negative. What's going on? Is God good? Something like that. Can we really say God is good to Joseph? In that time, some people, even if we're only thinking in a human eyes, how can we say God is good? God has a, blood, a better plan for Joseph. God wants to promote him to the palace of Pharaoh in Egypt. Therefore, God used his brother as a vehicle, as a vehicle for Joseph to travel to Egypt. If his brother did not sell him to those merchants, he will never go to Egypt, right? Somehow, his brother, with a bad attitude, sold him to the merchants to go to Egypt as a slave. So that, one thing or not one thing, not his own desire, he has to be in Egypt, right? Right? Sometimes, you may not desire you may not like what you are going through, the place you are, the working place you are, the home you live, or whatever you may be. See whether you like it or not, your Lord, our God knows, and he has a great plan for us. Amen? If Joseph knew in that time, even though my brother's did all these bad things to me. I am more closer to Pharaoh's palace, right? I will be in Egypt. One day, I will rule. I will be a powerful man, the top man of Egypt. He will say that, but he did not know that. Therefore, whether we know or we don't know, we have to believe in God. Trust in God. Even though I don't understand right now, I know God has a plan for me. That is humble attitude. Can you say amen? Don't be angry what you are facing right now. Be thankful and happy. Hallelujah. Amen? Do you know that God really loves you? Do you know that? Can you say amen for that? God loves you. God has the best plan for you. Amen? Do you really believe 100% for that? If you really believe 100% for that, don't lose that faith. Whether bad circumstance or good circumstance, you still claim I know God has a best future for me. A best destiny for me. Amen? My goal, God said for me, is, even though I don't know right now, the best is yet to come. Amen? That is the kind of faith that we need. That is the kind of humble attitude we need to have. So sometimes people 
when they receive accusation or some bad thing, start murmuring, start murmuring. That means we really do not believe that God has a best plan for me. So today, today, whoever listen to my preaching or whoever watching me from internet, let me encourage you. Your God is a good God. He loves you so much. He has already said the best destiny for you. Believe like Joseph. And after he was in Joseph Pontiphar's house, again Pharaoh's wife wrongly accused him again. He was in prison one more time again. How shameful that was, even though he did not do. Humility is sometimes facing a very shameful circumstance, knowing or would not unknowingly. But still, if, as we have heard the, the song right now, the girls were singing, we are in the palm of God's mighty hand. Amen? You are in the palm of God. Can you say amen? God has a best plan for you. You are in the palm of God. Even though you are crying or you are receiving accusation or people are mocking or whatever, still you are in the palm of God Almighty. Amen? You have the best future. So one day, from there, Joseph met the cupbearer of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. And from there, he could tell his dream, his future, it came to pass, fulfilled. From there, one day, this guy, not uh, ungratefully, this guy, ungratefully for God about Joseph. Two years later, Pharaoh himself got a dream which no one can interpret for the king of Pharaoh, the king Pharaoh. But then this guy start to remember Joseph when he was in prison. Then he told this to Pharaoh and the Pharaoh invited him to the, the palace. Then Joseph interpreted for the Pharaoh's dream and from there he became a big shot in the whole nation of Egypt, right? Hallelujah. What a promotion God can give. Today, dear brothers and sisters, your promotion is very close to, close by. Amen? Amen? Like David, among his brothers, he was the youngest. Even his own father did not really trust or trust in him that he's a young guy, he can do nothing, something like that. Sheep, ghosts, and whatever. But finally, God saw the humble attitude of David, the hunger for God, the pure heart of David. From far away, God directly see the heart of David. In the due time come, God sent Samuel, his prophet, to chase his family and let anoint, let him anoint. David as the king for Israel. Hallelujah. Even though he was a young boy, God anointed him. In the due time. Everybody say, in the due time. One more time. In the due time mean, it's not our own plan. It's God's plan. Amen? It's not our own plan. In God, it is God's plan. Everything is under the control of God. Amen? So we don't know when this due time will come to us. 
in the due time god will come and look at your heart and at that time if you had a proud heart that time wow what was it wow i want to promote this this guy but he said he's so proudful how can i exhort him it will pass i don't know when the next due time will come again <laughs> so every time we need to be humble and believe and trust in the lord let us get the ready any time any due time come god can come and promote you and when he see your heart is humble and trusting in the lord he will your promotion will come in your unexpected way everybody say unexpected way one more time all the time i believe joseph will not expect that the pharaoh in will invite him in that way right he will not expect in that way at the same time david will not expect as a shepherd boy get god will come and anoint him as a king over israel right he will not expect that so so sometimes if you are humble and be acquainted with god be thankful with god in your unexpected way god's promotion will come amen for his own glory can you say amen for that amen when we don't expect things will take place then we will see more amazing wow wow this must be of god hallelujah not a human effort it not by my own effort this is by the mighty hand of god amen so that when it take place in an unexpected way we will be more thankful to god we will be more surprised amen wow this i did not expect see the favor of god came the promotion of god came hallelujah that we will be more thankful more grateful we will be more acquainted with god fall in love with god more and more in a deeper way hallelujah plan for each one of us do you believe one day you will be much higher than the this level amen you are now on like this level amen god's promotion will come you will be this level level can you say for that amen who know one of you will be a big ceo for a big company amen amen you know one of you will be one of the richest guy in this united states of america amen who know you will be the president or the president's wife maybe <laughs> we don't know amen anything can take place who know you will be a great evangelist to touch the world with the gospel message of god jesus with signs and wonders and miracles of the miracle will happen when you stretch out your hand people will be in the power of the holy spirit something like that amen who knows that hallelujah who knows one of you will become a great pastor amen a great administrator a great businessman god can give anything beyond our imagination can you say amen for that so let us be humble under the mighty hand of god be away from murmuring 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 is a bad thing oh anything happen just start murmuring no be thankful for every 
single situation. And knowing God has a blessed a best plan for myself, for me. Amen? Do you believe that? I believe as we are the children of God, bought by the precious blood of God, God knows every one of us. Even the Bible says, God counts every hair that we have every day. God cares for each one of us. Therefore, today, let us be humble. Let us live in the humble attitude and be grateful and thankful to God. Then, in the due time, God will promote us, exhort us for his own glory. And you all will become a history maker. Amen? Amen? You will be the carrier of God's glory in the whole nations of the world. Amen? In many ways. Do you believe with me? Are you agree with me today? Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Shall we all stand please? I know we all are so tired for the whole day. I don't want to preach so long message. Still some of your eyes are very heavy now. I live so very happy. But anyway, still you try to receive the word of God. God will bless you. Do you believe that? Are you blessed today? Are you in the palm of the hand of God right now? Do you have do you do you know that God has the best the best plan for your future? Would you trust him? Would you murmuring or anything? Would you be thankful to him? Let us live in with a grateful heart. Let us lift up our hand and be thankful for your life. Be, let, be thankful for his love. Be thankful for your, for your life. Your future is a bright future. Full of hope. Glorious hope we have in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone us are so greatly loved by you, Lord. You are the mighty God. You are the God of the whole universe. You know every single one of us. You have the best plan for each one of us. Lord, we know we are in your plan, in your great plan. Lord, Sometimes we, when we face some good, bad things in our life, we help us to trust in you, not to be murmuring, but be thankful for any given situation in our life. Lord, we may bring glory to your name in everything we do, and that we will know even some accusation or some bad thing, unhappiness may come, but we will see my promotion is very close by. I will be, I will achieve that goal that God has set for my future. I will reach that destination with the grace of God. By the grace of God, I will be somebody for his own glory. Help us to believe in that way. Help us be trust and be thankful to you. Be grateful to you. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Lord, we worship you. We, you are a good God. You love each one of us. Even you give your only son Jesus to be our Savior. Even to die on the cross. To give his life for us on the cross. Lord, how much more you will have a greater plan for any other thing for us. For each one of us, we are so thankful. To, therefore, according to the Bible, according to the Word of God, the Bible help us to be humble under the mighty hand of God, so that in the due time, you will exhort each one of us for your own glory. This we pray for your own glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. See you next week.